student teachers today we are going to learn about content based instruction with Ms. T. Vega. What are our learning and lesson outcomes? First would be to determine what is content based instruction, evaluate uh, its models of concepts based instruction discuss the principles of concepts based instruction and determining the usefulness of concepts based instruction in um, FAL classrooms okay definition for concepts based instruction concepts based instruction approach focuses on both the language and the concepts objectives for non-first language speakers as medium of teaching non-language subject matter. Okay, what does this mean? It means basically um, it focuses on the use of the la language within the content. Let's say um, we are teaching them English but we are giving them a text about um, the culture or no better yet the history of English okay so the content is the history of English the language that we're reading the content the text is in English so in that form you are using content based uh, instruction because now the 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 person who's um, studying English who's learning English which is not a first language is using English as a form a medium of being taught uh, being taught the the language at the the the, the non-language subjects which is history of English okay let me make this simple the concept test is the history of English, right? The the language being used uh, to teach that content is English. So now you are showing the the learner how to use um, English, uh, uh, how to be taught in English about a particular content, you know, and its objectives. So. In that way or form, you are indirectly putting the learner in a mode of learning to be comfortable using or using or receiving instruction about a content within that language. Okay, so this approach this approach produces culturally and cognitive meaning language instead of just increasing language profit through uh, through uh, vocabulary and grammar practices in other words this is since you're teaching the child or learner uh, something that might be very something that they see around their environments you know something they might feel like they know they have some sort of prior knowledge about within within that context it makes it relevant to them and easier to remember on how to describe that experience uh, through through the learned language because now you have taught them how to do that you have taught them okay let's say uh, the cont the context is about um, a certain festival within their city right so you teach them about that festival as a as your text right as your content in english which is not a language so now they feel like oh now i know how to tell the next person about the culture that i know a festival that i know that i experienced in my neighborhood in english so now you're putting a lot of you know uh, cultural and cognitive meaning into the language instead of just having the same old learning grammar and uh, vocabulary kind of way yeah what are the three models for cognitive um, excuse me 
What are the three models for content-based instruction? Content-based instruction mo model has three models, which are theme-based language, that's the first, shared set content, uh, content instruction, adjacent language. The first model, theme-based instruction, is a model whereby a language instructor teaches a language using a specific topic or theme, okay, according to Whistles. Uh, theme-based instruction encourages significance of the subjects in the language since it's structured around the theme or topic, okay. So the used material presents uh, opportunities for the learner to improve their language profanity while acquiring the knowledge. Cult traditional language classrooms topics used strictly to a single activity such as listening or reading. Okay. So the concept speaks instruction a classroom, the topic and the vocabulary uh, items are introduced through pre-reading, pre-speaking, pre-writing, pre-listening activities. So basically they're just like letting us know at this point how to just uh, before you get into the content, right? You first give the vocabulary, the new words, the f it, like let them know the familiar, if the it, like familiarize them with upcoming new uh, words. You know, if it was um, a lesson, pre-lesson, you will learn in the, in the next video about pre-listening activities uh, for pre-listening there's a technique called shadowing shadowing is when it's a technique when if you're reading a book for learners a story as it takes to text them uh, later on with to teach them a language uh, shadowing is when you repeat the same word as a key word okay to and, and, and asking the learners to to say the word again if for an example if the sentence says um isaac drank the soup from his bowl bowl let's read this word say bowl bowl and then you keep pointing at the you are just emphasizing the new word to them to the kids okay whatever it may be uh that's uh the, that's is by whistles and theme-based language instruction develops the additional language ability within a specific topic area and focuses on language skills and functions. In other words, theme-based helps, um, helps you to really use the language within a, a topic area while you're learning about that topic, okay? So in that way, since you're learning how to use uh, English through this specific topic, you are also gaining language skills and functions. Right. The next model is a sheltered content instruction is a model that emphasizes context mastery assessment it improves language profanity um, skills uh, taught by the content area experts okay sheltered content instruction exposure of text produces self-confidence as they practice communicative skills of the targeted area okay adjacent language instruction is a model whereby learners uh, partake in two linked courses, which are content and language course, both for of which include the same content in common and complement each other regarding jointly uh, co coordinated homework. I feel like that was a mouthful. Let's read it again. An adjacent language instruction is a model whereby learners partake in two linked courses, which I feel like we should just, you know, 
write a little bit. So adjacent language instruction is a model whereby we partake in two linked courses which are content and content and language course. So the two courses is a content course and the other one is language, both which include the same content. So they're talking about the same topic, you know, the language, the subjects, whatever that subject is, oh no, the subjects are talking. So now adjacent language instruction is whereby they link a subject along with the language course okay they're talking about the same top topic they're teaching the same thing in common and so it complements each other regarding so that we can do regarding jointly coordinated homework so that we can do a specific homework okay um excuse me um a common example for that if maybe the English teacher is trying to teach about a trip to the beach, right? A trip to the beach. So the English teacher is trying to teach you how to write an essay, right? About uh, your experience at the beach. And that's just using an experience to write in English in, in a language and so now he will talk to the geography teacher and the geography teacher will teach the same students about um, the beach how the river connects to the ocean right and the shore is what we call the beach right so if you teach that geography topic, so now those are two linked courses, right? The first content is what? Geography. How the river connects to the ocean and the shoreline is the beach. And the language course is when the English teacher comes in with the homework and say, tell me about the experience at the beach. So now... Those two subjects would it, it would complement each other. We remember it has to complement each other to do that one homework, which is by the English teacher. Because now the learner will now talk about how they saw um, at the sh at the beach far end. They saw a, a, a river coming in. Okay, how they saw shallow shallow. Um, water shallow waters and then the more they got further closer to the ocean it got deeper that yeah those are the type of things that a geography teacher would teach about in their class at the same time the english teacher would expect those type of little details um describing the beach how it was for you so that's how you could use adjacent language instruction. So let's let's carry on. The adjacent language instruction focuses on concepts being learned then on the language. The exposure of the exposure um, amounts of language while learning concepts. Well, I, let's read that again. The exposure amount of a language while learning a concept are taught useful language found in relevant discourse content instead of isolating language fragments. Basically, they are repeating the same thing here yeah, that sometimes you this adjacent languages does not only just focus on learning the language, but it uses the content to teach the language and really using the amount of language in the learning content is useful to to learn uh, the, 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 the language itself instead of um, learning fragments of the language. So in other words, adjacent language uses in almost the same as theme 
uh, theme based, but it's not because it's intertwined. They work together, okay? They work together for one assessment. So instead of just learning fragments, parts of a language, they use a content, they use how what it's learned in the content useful in learning the language, okay? So all the mod models emphasize that language can be effectively learned in meaning, purposefully social and academic concepts, and the concepts learning can be used um, as basis of learning language. Uh, that's what they have in co a common as a whole, all of the models. And the language is used as a medium of learning contents, which can la lead to acquiring competency naturally. Principles of content-based instruction. Now, the principles of content-based instruction state that a subject matter aimed to be used in a language teaching purpose. Let's repeat that. Principles of context-based instruction state that a subject matter aims to be used in a language teaching purpose. Okay, the teacher should build a learner's prior knowledge uh, while relating the concepts to the experiences, motivating the learners to learn more about the language. Scaffolding learners' knowledge through language conversational exercises to practice utterance encourages them to research what they meant to say and it it helps them gain communicative competence okay that's a good point now the targeted language is effectively learned as a medium conveying informational concepts contest with conceptual clues to give meaning for vocabulary basically what they're saying yeah they are saying if you convey the information content uh, content with um, clues of meanings for vocabulary it really helps you to to acquire the meaning of the language and how to use it within while trying to convey the information contents okay so learners should work with meaningful cognitively demanding language and content uh, within the concepts of authentic material and task let's repeat that that was a mouthful so learners should work with meaningful and cognitively demanding language within the content as authentic material and tasks. That means that learners should be always encouraged to um, work with something that they might relate to so that as as they try to describe that experience they once had themselves in another language it really uh, pushes them to perfect their language enough in a, a language enough so that they can describe what they are trying to uh, talk about which is the content at hand and this is a form of authentic uh, material and talks Let's look at the usefulness of content-based instruction in FAL classrooms. Um, teaching learning activities of content-based instruction must consist of content and language to develop vocabulary building, communicative interaction, and language skills. Activities whereby identify characters in a drama, produce skills of predicting a story plot from a title or illustrations. Um, CBI activities has 
step-by-step guide instruction of how to process writing to a final product, uh, process writing draft to a final product. Um, cooperative learning, whereby group work or peer tuition um, is encouraged. That's that's what we like to call in teaching self. Excuse me, no no peer assessment. You know when the the let's say in the classroom there's uh, your partner next to you, though the one next to you, your classmates, you guys question each other on the contents at hand. So that's cooperative learning whereby it's used in group work or you know, peer assessment, which is very much encouraged in doing the activities together. Let's say, for an example, if you guys are practicing greeting, one would say, hi, my name is, the other would say, oh, basic, basic greetings, good morning, how are you? That's still a peer assessment, you know, it's practicing communicative interaction. Alright, uh, task-based instructions uh, uh, is also useful within CBI, okay, whereby, um, excuse me, whereby task-based instruction that acquire learners to understand inputs, produce products, and interaction with the target language while accommodating or Learner learning approaches. Okay, so that's clear enough. Well, another usefulness of CBI and FAL classrooms is um, that teachers have to play a significant role in taking essential features of CBI and supplying meaningful topics, creating appropriate learning environments for the kids and really engaging students in a variety of learning activities such as discussions, presentations and situation-based games to offer multiple opportunities for students to take part and practice English frequently as seen in the study right here. So a bit of a recap, we have defined what is concept-based instruction, what are they models, which is theme-based, chatted, um, concept instruction and adjacent, what are the principles and the usefulness in CBI. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment what you wish to see next what you want to uh, be um, given clarity on within this video and what you would like to see next like and keep watching this team figure um, there will be a video about an example of uh, planning a lesson using CBI which is listening and many more um, teaching playlists right here at the bottom please subscribe and uh, be sure to watch whatever you may need to see and seek knowledge from the channel thank you so much for joining us bye